Hey guys, Raya here. Lately I've been really craving those convenience store sandwiches that we had in Japan earlier this spring, but nothing around here carries anything like that in stock ready made. So I found some recipes online, got all of the ingredients for it, and decided to spend a day recreating all of those sandwiches at home. Watch as I give it a try. The first thing I made was the bread. I did a lot of research online to find the right type, which is called shokuban, and then looked for a bread machine recipe. It's a pretty basic list of ingredients. The most important part is using warm milk and water. The bread machine time lapse is always so satisfying. Once the loaf cooled, it had a nice inner texture. I tried cutting it in thin slices, since the sandwiches in Japan are always really thin, and that went alright. It wasn't quite the right texture, but it turned out okay. The first sandwich I decided to make was the egg salad. Most of the recipes I found included adding sugar, but I chose to skip that step, and it turned out fine. I cut the crust off the sandwich before I made it, and then cut it diagonally to match. You can tell the bread is different, but I think it turned out pretty good. After that, I tried to make three different meat patty sandwiches. I prepped the ingredients to bread the meat myself. The chicken and pork cutlets were identical processes, but I should have tenderized the chicken before breading. I hate hand breading things because my hands get so messy, but they're always tasty and fresh and worth it. They turned out pretty good. Then I prepared the shrimp cutlet. This involved rough chopping most of the uncooked shrimp and then basically pulverizing the remaining shrimp to make a paste to keep the whole patty together. Then I added cornstarch and seasoning and mixed it all together. Let it chill for a bit in the fridge and then used the bread heel to form the patties, which was really hard. I chilled the formed patties and then followed the same breading process. They didn't stay together very well, but it worked okay. I fried them all on the stovetop, which was long and messy, but it worked out.
Then I made the sandwiches. I used stone ground mustard, a cutlet, katsu sauce, a basic homemade slaw, and Japanese mayo. I cut the crusts off these sandwiches first as well, which worked well. They all turned out really pretty. I'm glad we did multiple batches to make the mess worth the long-term use since we froze the cutlets for future snacks. Then I made the dessert fruit sandwiches. I got kiwi, strawberries, and a peach. I chopped them to be roughly the same size pieces. Then I made the whipped cream, which was just cream and sugar. I prepped the bread by using apple jam to seal it so it wouldn't get soggy from the cream. I put a thin layer of cream, then placed the fruit so it would look nice when cut diagonally. I filled the cream in between all the fruit, then trimmed off the crust. I did the crust this way because the sandwiches in Japan all looked really clean cut with the cream on the edges. And I thought they did it this way, but they must not because it was really difficult. But they still turned out pretty. All the sandwiches looked really good and really tasty when they were done. We picked up some melon soda from the grocery store. These ones are really fun because you pop a marble down to break the seal and it makes it really fizz up. I really like this drink. Then I tried all the sandwiches. The egg was pretty tasty. I don't usually like egg salad, but the Japanese mayo is so much better than US mayo. The chicken cutlet was thick, but really good and the thigh meat stayed really juicy. The pork was also really tasty. It was nearly identical to the chicken, but obviously had the usual taste difference between those meats. The shrimp was so good. It's a bummer it was so technically involved because I love shrimp and I would eat this all the time if it was easier. Fruit in Japan is much smaller, so their fruit sandwiches often look a lot cuter, but it was so nice and sweet and light. And then the mixed fruit one was also delicious. I liked the different tang and zing to the fruits and it was just so yummy. These were so tasty, I recommend you try them. Thanks for watching.